Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida, and I, this is Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. We're going to do some more experimenting. These are my little silicone containers that I was thinking about using for um, putting my splat slash splash paint in to splash splat. But um, I found these, and they're better for my little, um, ox excuse me, Princeton Art Tools. I can get paint out of the bottom more easily, and I don't have to fill them up quite so far to get to the splat point. So I'm going to put some Artist Loft with Floatrol and GAC 800 in it and spread that around a little bit. Take out anything that does not belong. I'm not trying to do an exact job. I want to add some black and then I want to add some gold and it's my background. And so far, even when the splat splashes haven't worked out, the background has been lucky for me, unless there's stuff in it. So I'm going to wipe that off, I guess, and I'm going to take my chances on getting gray. I don't really mind getting some gray. I might put some gold in right now, too, but that white does not want to come off. I'm going to put my black. where I see I have gaps. Still making a painting before a painting. I don't think I need very much and I'm not sure how this is going to go at all. But I am going to do the gold. The gold is Decor Americana 24 karat gold, and also in Floatrol. And I might just do that instead of what I was planning on doing, because that was my original thought. You can see I've given up my turntable. I'm going to stand on my stool, I think, and uh, give myself a little distance from the canvas. Before I drop paint on it, I'm just going to take anything that's dripped over the edge, run my fingers down the side, sorry about my head, par for the course, sorry about the marble. The marble is attached to green tape. The green tape is meant to hold the marble and at the right height. to keep me from bumping my head or blocking your view more like. So I still want some of that gold probably. Kind of wish I'd blown it around. Oh, I got some cool cells. I'm just going to drag my spatula right through the canvas, through the paint. Yeah, I'm articulate today, huh? Maybe I'll go sideways. I'm going to make sure I have no canvas showing, but I'm pretty sure by the time I'm done I won't have much left to show anyway. All right, I'm going to throw that spatula in the bucket because I've got more. Move that somewhat out of the way. And the first color I don't even have to hand, which is Vivid Intense Quinacridone Red. And... Some Paroli Orange. These are Vivid Intense and Vivid Intense Fluorescent. And I want some more Quinacridone Red. I'm going to put some Vivid Intense Alizarin Rose, which is like really awesome. I've got some white and it might be a good idea to use it, but I think right now I'm going to use some of this Hansa Yellow, which is very orange. Oh, I added some orange to it. And I know I got out, there we go, the red violet, which is a vivid intense fluorescent. Looks like I'm going to have to mix these. I didn't really use a lot of paint. I'm going to take a big chance and mix some saffron prism pour in there. And 
I have some ginger flower primary element. I'm going to put some of that in there too, and that's nice and thin by comparison. I never did put any white in. So I'm going to just keep filling this up until I run out of steam. This is Tempting Tulip. I don't really think I need that much paint. I probably should have used the smaller cup first. I didn't use all my colors. I'm going to use some of the Miami Magenta, which is a prison pour. And I'm really tempted to shoot a little gold in there, but I'm not going to do it. All right, so now I have Vivid Intense Green, Fluorescent Green. That looks a little thicker than I was anticipating. I don't think I'll be using that again. Here is some Chromium Green. A little bit of Mystique, which is a primary element. Nebula Star, another primary element. And I'm going to try and heft a little bit of the Prussian Violet, which is another primary element in there. And then I'm going to hit it last but not least with my Fandango, which is a prism pour. And I'm tempted, I think I might even stir them around a little bit just to mix it up. And then I have, then I'm going to go over here use a lot of paroli orange a whole lot more yellow that's the Hansi yellow with paroli orange in it again give the Hansi yellow light a shot and what else be brazen yeah I'm gonna put the um, the red violet in there and I know I should probably put some white in something so I've got some Vivid Intense White. There we go. I forgot it had gotten really thick. That needs to, I need to make up more is what I need to do. All right, this is gonna be weird. <laughs> totally weird. Get anything out of the way. That might be in the way. Now I've put a barricade up against the back so I don't won't splash onto my paintings. And I'm not sure how this is going to work. That's my first one. And I can always chain pull which I have been thoroughly enjoying doing, so no harm, no foul if I don't wind up keeping this. Turn that over. I'm going to try. Yeah, I might chain pull. I want to clean that off. That's my one good tool for getting at the bottom of those containers. Not enough saffron or Fandango. Looks like a chain pull to me. I definitely need some more, I need some purple in there. And I had Burmese red but I didn't put it in and I'm going to put some in now and that's prism for, excuse me, it's primary element. 
what else? I'm not as thrilled with that as I thought I was going to be. I've got some Frosted, which is a prism pour that has a little bit of magenta, Vivid Intense Ultramarine Blue, and Dioxazine Purple. Okay, so I put my chain down, but first I'm going to get rid of anything else that's in here. I should just stop and let it be, I guess. Makes me pretty nervous doing something I'm not used to doing. I tell you what, that doesn't need to go. And that looks pretty good. So all those are going in the bucket. One, two, three. I'm trying to use a different tool every day. I've got a little dish of chain. drag down stem shapes but at this point in time I really just want some circles and I might be tempted to use my balloon I want some smaller circles and I want to clean off my chain. And I should have grabbed a paper towel and I probably got one. Get my... So I still don't have enough distance. I really want to just get on the floor, put the painting on the floor and change my camera angle, but I don't think that that's going to work like I'd like it to. I don't even know if this is going to work. But I'm willing to try it. If I get enough paint on my chain, I can lay it down over on here. I can definitely use a skewer also. Where's my paper towel? I'm going to need that. I always, I always start out thinking that I'm unhappy with what I've got, and so far I've wound up being pretty, pretty well pleased with what I've got. And it's convinced me that it sort of opens up my brain and leaves room for variations on a theme, which are not ever a bad thing. Do some leaf shapes. Some winding. I didn't put enough gold in there, I don't think. I need to leave some solid colors for sure. And I can always add paint. Paint and uh, Use a skewer and or a balloon, which are probably both going to happen. It's, it feels risky. It feels uh, a little trepidatious and scary. Oh, I found some great colored paint there. Let's grab the skewer that I'm talking about. Any old skewer will do. Even my knitting needle would work at this point. Okay, so I've got one without any paintballs on it, and that's okay with me. have like scratching on canvas so it's not hurting my feelings any. And a few dots. Never hurt anything. Yeah that one didn't make any sense. 
that has got to go. I just saw something that does not belong. I can't even believe I could remember exactly where that was. I also, come to think of it, can use a skewer, uh, excuse me, a Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatula. Which is a pretty easy thing to do actually, winding it back and forth. I got some fugly colors. I might want to cover over some of those flowers tomorrow. <laughs> this one particularly. Alright, I'm not done by any stretch of the imagination. It's not, I'm not thinking it's as horrible as I thought it was for a minute. But uh, it's a whole new ball game, so I tend to be that way about new things. I tend to think I'm not really capable. That doesn't mean anything. You can dab, if you make a scar with your tool, dab into the scar and the paint will fill in. So what am I going to put in that place? Maybe Miami Magenta. That's a little better. I got a straw. When the timer goes off I'll have one more minute. I'm not thrilled with that uh, Hansi yellow center either. But like I said, tomorrow's a new day. I can add colors right over the top. I could even add a couple of drops right now that might make me feel better. The red violet. And maybe a few more drops as dots. They're very abstract flowers. I'm going to give it a little more saffron. That was a surprise. I like the dots. Maybe the white is the answer. A little bit of white never hurt anything. Yeah, good texture. All right, it is what it is, and uh, I might keep working on it till the timer goes off. Pretty basically. Let me see what I do with my fandango. Kind of think. I want a little more. Right there. Some right there. There's a whole lot of blue in here. That's that Snapdragon. I got one minute to tell you. I do sell my artwork. Whoops, I said that wrong. I do sell my artwork. My paint pouring recipe is below show more. I'm happy to answer questions. If you've got any, please feel free to go ahead and do so. Uh, I can't see my list. My link tree has uh, everything you could want. <laughs> A couple of um, websites. Anyway, I have 31 lists, playlists, and uh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm panicking without my list. Um, yeah, I'm going to go over here and read my list. Please give me a thumbs up when you like and share my videos you help me out. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I love you guys dearly. There shouldn't be any particular shimmer in here and uh, I think I need a little bit of dark right in that lighter purple. Come on out. 
I'm gonna be gone. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, so I'm back and this is dry and it's been some days. And if you noticed, I've got a bloom I made on some uh, silicone, on a silicone mat. And it gave me the idea, but it's kind of blends in too much. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but I am gonna put some heart-shaped flowers in here, I think. I just need a stick with a point on the end. That'll work right there. I'm going to try some Chantilly lace dots. And I've got a little obstruction in my tip, which is okay because I like the idea of the of the lighter color and the obstruction will keep too much from coming out at once and I kind of wonder if I should have maybe done them one at a time but is that sharp enough? I'm going to try it I don't think it's sharp enough So I'm going to grab something sharper, and my knitting needle is almost always handy. Now I thought about doing chain, and I'm still thinking about that. Because I like the way my little chain pull flowers look. I'm just rounding those out so they look more heart-shaped. And I'm not hating on them. Although I'm wondering if I could get a little paint off and make one more. But it doesn't seem to be working very well. I'm still not hating it. I think my head was in the way anyway. Three, six, seven, yeah, we need an we need an odd number. I actually squeezed it in place in the right shape so I don't even have to do much to it. So for now I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to give myself a little bit of fluorescent pink Vivid Intense. And I'm really curious about the chain pull idea. But I want some definite Okay, I made a dish up of samples, and I think I like this one because it's the oddest of the bunch, and that's a little bit of white, vivid, intense white. I think I'm going to give myself a couple few of these. And I put some Snapdragon. Whoops, not like that though. I have a little tab squeezed out. And I've got some of the fluorescent pink again, Vivid Intense. I'm going to try some Jasmine, primary element. And I might be crazy, but I'm going to try some saffron prison pour. And then a dot, a drop of Amsterdam black and Australian Floetrol. Pull my straw in, hope my head is in the way, in, is not in the way. I like to blow straight down, and I'm not minding those. I'm going to probably put some dots in here and maybe some in there. And I like the idea of the uh, of something stronger pink, so I'm going to put a couple more flowers in. Where's the fourth one, the fifth one going to go? Not sure. Well, we'll wait a minute and figure it out then. 
So that again is the fluorescent pink, Vivid Intense, and the jasmine, which might be a moot point, but I'm liking how the other ones look. I don't see much of the saffron, but I see a little bit. I'd like to blow straight down. Maybe I'll just do a straight saffron one. That could be kind of cool. Maybe even... Maybe not straight. Maybe some sour lemon with orange crush added to it. Somebody's decided to mow their lawn. That's our neighbor. Timing is everything and evidently I don't have any right now. <laughs> Alright, I like all that. I think I want to add the jasmine to the fluorescent pink because having two colors, two shades of the same color is kind of a nice contrast or whatever the word is I'm supposed to be using. Variation. Looks like pink Queen Anne's lace at the moment. I'm thinking Snapdragon, but I've also got Frosted. I so want to put something in the um, in those white heart shapes. And I had my tweezers right here, and they are here. There I go. This was open the last time I used it. This is a weird thing up here. Let's see what I can do with that. I want to just... I want a sharper tool and I put my knitting needle down. I'm getting... <laughs> Never mind, I'll use my tweezers. Yeah, smaller dots are better. Seven. I'm going to have to be really careful because the tweezers are really sharp. I want some purple. I think this plum blossom is going to work for me. Got to be careful if it's sticky when I pull up. I don't want that little tail. And I like the jasmine so much I might do that. I don't think it's going to need a whole lot more. I'm thinking about one more flower up here. Maybe just some dots that look like the center of a flower. That's a little better. That's a lot better. I'm happier with that. Just make some weird shapes. I still want to use the chain. Where should I do that? I'm happy with most of this stuff. Um, all right, I'm going to do a little jasmine, a little chantilly lace. I keep thinking I'm going to add a dot of color to those uh, not heart shapes. There's the saffron. You know what? I usually do three. I'm going to do four. That's the sour lemon. Let me grab some chain. most of it in my hand. Swing the most rest of it around. And 
And now we have an interesting shape. Put the chain back in. I don't want to get too close to that thing I just did, but... So we have an interesting shape. So I'm thinking about using my Snapdragon. I suspect it might bleed into the white, which I kind of think would be a cool effect. I'm just barely touching that. And I really, really, really want a sharp skewer without sticking my hand in anything. Of losing the continuity. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to swirl them around. And of course they're the brightest thing in there. But I still like it a whole lot better than I did. I'm going to steal some of that paint and dot with it. And I'm liking that. And I'm going to continue to steal paint and add even more dots. Because that Chantilly lace is pretty thick stuff. I've started adding a little distilled water. I'm loving that. Major improvement, in my opinion. Perfect color for center. Take away the bulk. I want to put a little green dot. Above them to look like they're hanging from something, but I don't think it's important. All in all, I'm much happier with this, but I gotta tell you, I'm thinking I wanna do the same thing to these other dots that I did to that. Maybe I won't spin it around. I won't put a swirl in there. Oh, that worked way too well till I said something. Don't ask me why, I just had to. And now I'm going to find my. Fandango and add at least one little bit of extra greenery. Although I kind of like it enough to may maybe want to do that again. I've got something kind of muddy over here. A couple things actually. The only thing that's bothering me now is that one last thing there. I think I have to do something to it. And I'm being called to sour lemon with orange crush in it. I'm 
I'm going to go for the jasmine because that's my favorite. Maybe I'll do another chain pull. And this time I'll use a little bit Chantilly lace. I grabbed the long length. It's a really long piece. I think I like it just like it is without pulling down. All right, I used all my 16 minutes. I'm not sure what I told you at the end of uh, the other part, but I am pretty sure that I'm almost done. And I, <laughs> I say that a bunch. This is uh, blue velvet, and I'm thinking. My little white spaces deserve something. More dots. And I like putting the two different blues near each other, just like I did the pinks. And even though the colors got kind of muted in the background, I'm still not unhappy with that. It does make me want to put some more white in there. But overall, I think I'm pretty good. Come on out. It's not coming out. All right, I'll see you guys in non. Make sure you check that 20% off color coupon code. There, I like that. I'm good. I love you guys. I'll see you in non. I just said that. Yeah. Okay, well, it's obvious that I'm still distracted, but I'm pretty happy with this now. Actually, really happy. I say that. <laughs> but you so can't trust me. I like the little tiny dollops that the obstruction in the front of my jasmine is allowing me to spread around. All right, <laughs> I can't make any promises. I'm just doing what comes naturally. Telling you guys I love you. I hope you come again. I post at 10.15 or 3.15 depending on when, I, when this airs. Eastern Standard Time. I don't think I can have too many flowers in this very weedy flowery garden. I think I said I'll see you anon three times now. But I am going to say Priscilla out. Just as soon as I have a chance to try and shimmer this at you. If I can. In a moment. <sighs> yeah, I'm happier with that by far. There we go. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>